Out of all the front-end frameworks you can use to build modern, performant web apps these days, Quick is probably the one pioneering some of the most interesting ideas and concepts. Impressive. Very nice. Recently, I got a chance to chat with the team behind Quick, and they were nice enough to explain some of the core problems they are trying to solve with this new framework and some of the main selling points which could make Quick a very good solution for your next web project. We all like lists and TLDRs, so here is a list of 5 top reasons to use Quick coming directly from the team behind the framework. If this is your first time hearing about Quick, it's enough for you to know that this is a web framework relying on dev concepts you already know, like JSX, hooks, and a built-in React state management system using signals. Quick also introduces a new approach to performance optimization by taking the traditional manual optimization approach and making it automatic. Performance over the web is now more important than ever, and, due to its innovative concepts we'll discuss in a second, Quick is a few steps ahead of the competition. So, back to our list, the first reason to use Quick is its out-of-the-box automatic optimization process. This is a fancy way of saying that Quick apps are really, really fast. Regardless of the app size, Quick load time performance is constant, and here is what I mean by that. In a recent talk, Manu, one of the developers behind Quick, compares the bundle sizes of large apps built with different frameworks. If in small apps the difference is insignificant, when we get to a large number of components, the bundle size grows in a pretty much linear trend. The only exception? Quick. Regardless of the app size, Quick initial bundle size is constant, and you'll start with very few bytes sent over the wire. Despite its HTML-first approach, Quick apps are interactive even before the JS chunks start showing up in the page. So you can be certain that you can click on any interactive element and that click will be correctly processed. Smart prefetching is performed under the hood and your overall user experience will be smooth and snappy. And the best part of all this? Everything I mentioned is handled in the background by the framework. I know, most of us don't worry that much about things such as over-the-wire performance or lighthouse scores. Well, we don't worry until we do. And then all hell breaks loose and we need to spend days refactoring and re-architecturing the code. With Quick, you don't have to worry about these things ever again because it handles everything for you from the get-go. And since I am mentioning Lighthouse scores, this ties in with the second reason to use Quick. Unmatched Core Web Vital scores at scale. Quick employs lazy execution strategies to defer bringing in unnecessary JavaScript to the browser and a process called resumability where apps start on the server, serializing the state into HTML and resuming execution in the browser where the data is already present. Only the minimum amount of JS gets downloaded and only what is being interacted with gets executed. All these lead to excellent results on both loading speed and time to interactivity. Okay, but what about the server you might ask? This is a legit question these days when all front-end frameworks provide meta-solutions to address the entire development stack. Well, the third reason to use Quick is its amazing developer experience and type safety across server and client. The server helper function comes to mind here, since it allows you to create functions that will always execute on the server, making it a great place to access the database to perform server-only actions. TRPC gained a lot of popularity in the front-end community, and server is doing pretty much the same thing. It is a form of remote procedure calling mechanism between the client and the server, just like traditional HTTP endpoints, but strongly typed. It can also read HTTP cookies, headers, or environment variables, so you can really do anything with this one. The fourth reason to use Quick is its next-generation architecture. There is no denying that Quick is hitting it out of the park when it comes to performance. If we learned something in the past 15 years of building apps, is that strong, impactful ideas end up being adopted by most players in the space. So, while Quick is still a relatively new framework, its performance is already making waves in the dev community. Soon enough, this type of performance will be expected from the competition, and here is when Quick will really take off. All other frameworks will require extensive rework in their core architecture and possible breaking changes, while Quick is already on the right path. The fifth reason to use Quick is something you probably already noticed. Working with it is extremely straightforward, especially if your background is in an established framework like React. You will use already known concepts such as function components, signals or JSX, which are almost an industry standard these days. As a result, you are likely to be able to jump into an existing Quick codebase and be productive in a matter of hours. Please feel free to share your questions or concerns about Quick in the comments, and until next time, thank you for watching.